Supercomputers and robots working hand in hand with humans to create a techno utopia where all people will be able to live a life of leisure and plenty? Or do you imagine a dystopian totalitarian state using an AI system to watch our every move and predict our every action thanks to its computational unmatched superintelligence rending human agency obsolete? Humanity stands at a unique moment in time. The rise in automation, digital connectivity, and advanced robotics have shaped the early 21st century. It has even led certain thinkers to call our era a precipice because of the existential risk these technological innovations pose to humanity. This fourth industrial revolution has brought about unparalleled civilizational changes in the span of years, not centuries. Artificial intelligence has been one of the primary drivers of this transformation and will continue to play a more central role as time goes by. La inteligencia artificial está en la raíz del cambio de época que estamos viviendo. La robótica puede hacer posible un mundo mejor si va unida al bien común. Porque si el progreso tecnológico aumenta las desigualdades, no es un progreso real. The dominant view in Silicon Valley and the media is that things, including machines, can be considered intelligent merely by virtue of what they're able to do, regardless of what they actually are. So if a computer were hypothetically able to do everything that a human brain could do, it would be considered conscious. This, of course, is different from what the church teaches on intelligence and human consciousness. So we went to the Campus Biomedico in Rome, where they're conducting research on artificial intelligence and advanced robotics to better understand this new technology and whether or not the ethics embedded within the technology give it the possibility to be joined to the common good as the Holy Father wishes. The definition of artificial intelligence is complex, but we tend to use metaphors that refer to the human mind. We can think of artificial intelligence as a system that we make to solve problems solving problems in order to serve humans. The latest iteration of artificial intelligence is now known as the metaverse. Augmented reality, virtual reality, etc. is based on artificial intelligence technologies and only multiplies the challenges. You need specific skills, but you also need an understanding of this new dimension because new technologies come from man, and man is a technical being. We always say in the classroom that man is naturally technical. Technology is not bad, it is born good as human beings are born good. With technology, it is our way of being in the world, of relating to one another. Artificial intelligence will become an everyday and dominant part of our lives and open up new possibilities. Possibilities that we can use to grow, to grow collectively and grow as people, to inhabit this world better or differently. Because it is clear that, as with atomic bombs and other big scientific discoveries, big technological innovations can serve for good or for evil. As technology continues to take on more human activities and gain intelligence, it begs further digging into what intelligence means. And if computational intelligence is something that computers will eventually be able to supersede humans in, then what about the entire realm of emotional intelligence and other aspects of human life, such as sacrifice, loyalty, and meaningful relationships? Artificial intelligence is an almost natural evolution of what had been the original idea of a computer. 
and does exactly what we are trying to accomplish at the origin. That is, it materializes the computational capabilities of our brain. The risk is if we reduce our understanding of ourselves. And this risk could be cultural as well. But if we reduce our understanding of ourselves and of our intelligence, that has only this dimension that we have been able to model, then it is obvious that we will find ourselves afraid of these machines. Instead, these very machines were built to surpass us, for them to facilitate our lives and to even replace us in specific functions. But human intelligence is not just a computational capacity. The stakes are high. Dr. Christoph Koch at a conference on AI hosted by the Vatican warned that by mid-century, humanity will be surrounded by ubiquitous, flexible, highly intelligent, autonomous agents, and this will profoundly affect our future, including whether we have any. That is why the Pontifical Academy for Life, along with Microsoft, IBM, and others, signed a 2020 declaration calling for the ethical and responsible use of AI. Most importantly, Pope Francis has invited Catholics around the world to pray that robotics and artificial intelligence remain always at the service of human beings. Let us join him.